And folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Love is kind and just. When you're in love, a smile is always on your face. You feel good about yourself, and because you are happy, you are kind. Love is also just. When you make a mistake, you pay for it only once. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow up one, Nasdaq up 12, S&P's up two, gold contract up $40, traded 1,333 an ounce. Silver up 98 cents at $20.44 an ounce. Platinum up 14 bucks at 1,444 an ounce. Copper up four pennies at 318 a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck at 106.91. Bonds flat at 135.19. King dollar down 400 ticks, trading out at 82.31. The euro up 43 at 131, and the yen down a buck 11, trading out at 99.54. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, what do you have? Another day, higher high, slightly higher high. Bottom line, you're at the, you got to 1697. You're at 1694, you're over the highs, you did all the 560 million versus 870 versus 940 at that May 22nd high. Bottom line, higher high, you can go higher. The stretch, the stretch is on, there's no two ways about it. It's not going to end in a, a pleasant way, I can tell you that, folks. If you want to see the correlation, the correlation is really wild inside the SPY. So the SPY today did 76 million shares. Taking out the high of last week with 103 million, which by itself wasn't enough because we should be banging about 250 million folks. So what we did out here today is that we did 76 million and got over the high of 244 million. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. What you have in the Dow is this. Dow 15,545, which is over the highs. You know, we've been up here about seven days right now. Uh, what we did have uh, in here is that you had McDonald's come down hard again. Uh, not again. Okay, McDonald's came down hard today. Numbers, they didn't make the numbers. They missed it by two pennies. Not a big deal. But what you did have, uh, you're down 260, 13 million shares. You gapped away again with volume. And that's the, the key uh, to wrap your head around here is when you gap away with volume, it's problematic, folks. That's the real bottom line. NASDAQ Composite. What do we do in the Composite? Okay, so Composite goes like this. Composite was up 12 bucks. We did 1.4 billion, and, you know, we'll see where this uh, shakes. You know, Composite was the only indice on Friday that actually gapped down. Gold contract. Gold, folks, metals, they're off the bottom. Uh, the gold stocks, they're doing ABC structures on the way up. First time in uh, 18 months. Gold contract did 140, 182,000 contracts. We're at 1332. That baby's making the run to 1395. And you, you're going to see that run pretty quickly, too, by the way, folks. When, go, when gold comes off the bottom, it just loves flying. Bonds. Like we go take a look at the bonds out here. What we did with bonds is this 30 year bond did 176,000 contracts. She's going to need more than that. But she's nuzzling right against the top of the trend, which is really good. There's no two ways about that. Uh, what you do have out here, which I thought was pretty unusual, but it was backing down with, with lighter volume, is the dollar index. Dollar index came down, came down good, came down at 400, uh, 400 ticks, rather. Volume contracted dramatically. Um, we, we did uh, 31,000 contracts. The 31,000 is going into 57,000. Uh, you broke a swing point with a lot lighter volume also. The swing point had 52,000. Uh, where the divergence uh, was is that uh, with the dollar down about to 400, it was like, okay, why can't the market uh, really get some juice underneath it? But bottom line is that it couldn't. Netflix, NFLX, NFLX. Uh, Netflix closed out here at uh, 261. It's trading at 247 right now. And what... If you, uh, with Netflix, folks, you got to watch out for that gap. Let me tell you something. We'll go through the numbers right now. But there is a gap that is a monster. Well, there's two separate gaps. Uh, the last gap is wide open at 165 all the way up to 219. 
And uh, number-wise on Netflix, this is what we have. So their estimate was uh, 40 cents. They made 49 cents, so they, they, they made plenty. Um, their growth, their growth, okay, so subscriber growth was down. Uh, bottom line, though, you know, numbers, bottom line numbers were up. Let's go to Tim in San Francisco. Hey, Tim, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Yeah, it's, it's foggy and cold. <laughs> foggy and cold. Let's see, yeah. and it's July. What a trip, man. That, that is a trip. I bet those great. salmon are running out. Is the salmon running right now? Or is, that too, uh, is it too late? I think it's too late. It's too now. late. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We just got fog and sailboats. <laughs> oh, man. I'm America's now. Cup. Yeah, that's going to be fun, man. That's, that's definitely going to be. That's going to be in September, right? Well, it started already. It started this, this, like two weeks ago, but the finals are in September. Okay, okay. They've, um, anyways, I'm calling about uh, UVXY. I usually don't play it, but I took a small position at uh, 47, and you see what it's doing. This thing is just gapping down like crazy. Okay, so let's take a look. This is... Oh, this is the VIX. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. It, this is the Pro Ultra VIX Future. It's the 200% correlation of the VIX, folks. Okay. So, uh, what it does is it corresponds to twice the performance of the VIX. And, of course, the VIX has been dying. Okay. So, in this particular case, uh, went, just went from 47 to 41. It went from 90 to 41 in about two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> oh, so I man. thought I thought maybe we hit the bottom. You know, maybe I just cut my losses a small position, but I, I don't even know where to put the stop now. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So, so I'm going back over to the VIX first off. Now, the VIX is at 12.46. The bottom of this swing is 11.05. It goes down eight ticks today. But... What it had, it had a wide price spread. See, what happened, folks, is that this actually closed at a low on Friday. That's why it looks like it's only eight ticks. What had happened is that we popped up to 1337, right. come all the way back down. Okay, let me bring this back a little bit further. So do you trade this thing a lot? Mm, every now and then. Okay. Both, both ways. But. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm waiting. That's what it, no, it goes both ways. I understand that. That's so it's a little bit different. Okay, so 1226. Well, uh, this is what I do. I mean, I'd play this off the VIX. If the VIX goes under 1226, close it, man. That's the way you got to do it. Okay. You VIX know? under 1226, just get out. Yeah, just get out. Because your bottom is 1105. You do not want to take another dollar something there because inside that you. V Y X. That'd bring that baby down a good three dollars if it goes down another buck. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. But at some point the VIX is going to turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let me let me tell you something. You know, I, I I feel for you, okay? Because the bottom line, I'm looking at the spy today. I'm looking at the S and P. I'm saying, I said, well, you know, they they're going to stretch it. They stretch it. There's no doubt about it. And, and I and I had said earlier, I was just writing something. Real. I said, listen. You know, I know it's going to end bad. Uh, you don't, you do not, folks, let me tell you something. You do not get over these highs, like with a spy with 77 million versus 250. You know, yeah, it can happen for a few days, but then just it comes out of nowhere, you know, because that's just how it goes. And right now, we're four, eight, we're, we're 10 days up here with no juice. So the problem with that product right there, that VIX product, though, I, I is that you do have to be in it. Because what happens is that when the market opens, something will be there and the VIX will spike. The VIX can spike two or three points at about a heartbeat, folks. Right. That's, that's why I don't like the, the product. You know what I mean? Because it's, you know, it's, it's not, a, to me, it's, it, you have to be in before the fact. It's not really a tradable product. Because what happens is that the day that that happens, folks, I mean, it, it could go more if, if, if people really get fearful. Most of the time, the gap up or the gap down, that's the end of the move. Do you know what I mean? But, Oh, yeah. It's play money. There you go. <laughs> okay, man. Have, right, a, have a great one. Have a safe All one. Right. We go over to the uh, XAU. Uh, and what, what you do have, folks, okay, uh, it, it's pretty wild. I see. I, I, I got to show you something inside the, uh, whether it's the XAU, the HUI, it doesn't matter, folks. If you want to see, uh, we'll bring the, the GLD up first. And if you just want to see how markets just love to go back, you get corrections going. Let me tell you something. Uh, and this is a classic in the gold market, okay? What does it go? It's, it went right to the bottom line the last time there was volume. 
You know, we went to 114.68. And this is, you know, coming off a high of 185. Well, guess what? Last time you had any volume out here, okay, it goes all the way back to December of 09, and that high was 119.54. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.